I'm about to walk up another hill because you all know how much I enjoy walking up hills. <laughs> now, in front of me I've got the slime dump. Well, one of them. So that's to do with the mine. It's a tailings dump. And then over here, this is the one that we climbed in a previous video. I'll try and link that one below so you can check it out. Kind of on a little walking trail type of thing and we're just about to go up to the Beacon Hill Lookout. And for those who've been watching for a while you would have already seen me at the Beacon Hill Lookout but I didn't actually do the walk that goes around the top of it so that's where we're about to head today. Check out that slime dump, isn't that amazing? Dip. <laughs> so that's me. That's where I am. <laughs> yep. Mm, I'd better be careful. <laughs> Beware. And there's signs up ahead of me as well that say danger. Danger. <laughs> so, um, yep. I'm feeling pretty confident and safe at this very moment. Um, So yep, this is where I am people, just walking past the mine. Mm. <laughs> just another reminder for me to be careful. <laughs> this is where I'm headed. And there's the sign over there. Telling you about the mine. It's a bull and decline. If I turn around, that's the view where I am. So that is where I can't go, which is okay because we're going this way up the hill and we're getting closer. And I, and I think if we go this way, there's actually kind of a lookout of sorts that shows you the entrance to the mine. So let's see whether I'm correct. <laughs> we're here and just up there is the road that I just walked up. So we're not actually at Beacon Hill Lookout yet, we're just walking up. Oh yeah, here we go. We have a sign about the Bullen Decline. It's a path, um, I hope I'm going the right way, because it is getting late in the afternoon. <laughs> because I want to show you this and also go for a walk around the walking trail at the Beacon Hill Lookout. This is what it looks like around me. And there's those flies. Flies really love me for some reason. So here we are, walking around, hopefully finding something to see. One thing I've noticed on this walk is that there's a lot of fallen trees so there's another one just in front of me so see and I've just realized I'm going the right way which is awesome look at that so that's the entrance to the mine and you can see all the way out to the salt lakes there's a gypsum plant there which is what we're zooming in on now there's a vehicle just leaving the mine now. Now it could be bad and walk up this way to get back onto the road or I could go the full way. <sighs> I think I'm going to be bad and just cut up and just cut across the road here. I took the shortcut, I didn't hurt myself, everything's cool, nothing's broken and I've just found this. Now this looks quite dangerous so I'm not going to get too close to the edge. Interesting and dangerous. <laughs> Um, and when I say interesting, I probably should have said interesting and a little bit dangerous. So let's have a look.
Oh yeah. All the way up the road there's this sort of high mound of stuff and then it just stops and yeah that's where I went just down there and then it starts again and that's what I climbed over to get from the other side to here so that was an amusing experience for me I didn't get it on camera because I thought I'd best put my camera away to be safe because I can't really afford to lose another camera we're almost there <laughs> now behind me is quite an amazing sight because it's not often that you get to see one two three four of these signs that haven't been knocked over they're all straight <laughs> they're all straight and there's the other one just to prove it four that haven't been knocked over and there was just a little bit of a drop of rain and I'm like please stop this is what happened the last time I went to Beacon Hill look at it started to rain. I, I am prepared, I do have a big garbage bag to put my camera in, but it's like please just stop for a couple of hours just so just until I um get this footage. This is part of the walking trail that we're going to go on. It basically goes from that side of the road to the other. It starts at the top though, so I'm gonna start at the top. We're almost at the top. Let's keep going. I'm just about to show you the view. This is from one side. There is a car with people in it over the other side. Oh, and there's the picnic table. Many a night of romance has allegedly happened just here, but I could be wrong. <laughs> so yes, feel free to add this to your list of places to make out in Norseman. So this is the Beacon Hill walk trail, this is the start of the trail. So apparently I'm about to have a very special experience on a special hilltop. It's a remarkable place, has wonderful views, has fascinating and sometimes rare vegetation. So I've got to be careful, I've got to be cool and it's only going to take 15 minutes and yes I will enjoy my walk, thank you Shire of Dundas. Okay, so there I am. And that is the trail. I, I did have a helpful flyer to bring with me, but I forgot it, so. Some more logs. These are more like steps. The other ones at the other lookout weren't really steps. And I think some of them might have been a bit loose. But um, did say watch my step. So hopefully, <laughs> Hopefully I'm not going to drop anything or trip over anything. Wow. See, here I am. We have a seat, but it's like a metal one, which I don't see is really as much fun as the other one. But man, the view. <laughs> Make out seat number one. And here's another black butt. And another amazing view. The Salt Lake visible in the middle ground is Lake Brazia. It and many other salt lakes of the surrounding district are the ancient beds of a vast river system, evidence of a much earlier age. Let's keep going. <laughs> Nearly fell. And just remember it actually starts at the top of the hill. Had I not been told I would have been searching forever at the bottom of the hill to find the actual walking track. So just remember go to the top of the hill near the picnic table and that's where you start your walk. And you've got to follow all the signs because if you go off the track you may get lost. So you've got to follow these signs. As always the feeling of aloneness for me is just awesome. The fact that there's no people here to bother me. Well, there is one at the top of the hill, but that's okay. I don't know whether they're going to do the walk today. I, I won't meet them unless they started at the wrong end. <laughs> so, we'll see. Look, there's some blue sky. 
and then it goes straight over to grey. Someone said I should be a tour guide, a walking tour guide. To be honest, I'd love to be a tour guide, but I'd kind of need a car. And given that I'm still learning to drive, it's not going to happen anytime soon. I'd like to take people out to all the dodgy places like the, um, the shooting range, as well as the beautiful places like the Salt Lakes, which do unfortunately have a few things in them that shouldn't be there, such as the trolleys and stuff that you may have seen in an earlier video. So good. So nice. So yes, welcome to my world. Come to Norseman. Apologies if you get my heavy breathing on this. I'm not quite sure how bad it's going to come out. But um, I thought you may appreciate coming along for the walk with me. It's kind of funny me saying, oh, I'm all alone. It's awesome. There's no people and whatever. And yet here I am carrying a piece of technology, capturing my every move and talking to myself. So it's kind of weird. We have another makeout seat. The open cut mine clearly visible in the foreground is known as the hit and miss pit. On, on, on the horizon is Fraser Range and the Dundas Nature Reserve, which stretches all the way to Belladonia, 193 kilometers east along the air highway. You can see approximately 50 kilometers to the horizon from this viewpoint. I'd love to get the sunset from here or the sunrise but the problem is that I've then got to walk home in the dark and I don't think there's a lot of lighting on this road and it's kind of a road where you kind of want to know where you're going and not trip over anything so I don't know maybe some nice maybe some nice person will bring me out here one morning or one night who knows I'll make sure I bring a tablecloth for the picnic table <laughs> can you see where we walked that's where I walked past earlier make out seat number three central Norseman gold which is what we walked past on the way here gold bearing rock or ore is transported to this mill from both the Harlequin and Bullen mines nearby And this is the alleged longest continuously running gold mining operation. So, that's a pretty mad view. It's a pity there's some trees in the way, but it's still pretty cool. Old mine workings. It's not known if these produced any gold and I'd say that might be what they're talking about it does say that these may have been used as a front stealing gold from larger operations and claiming they found the gold in their own workings I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> Hard work holding this camera up while I'm walking, but I thought I'd give it a go. We're almost at the top, and that was definitely a very nice walk. Shame about all the fallen trees, but I guess that's nature, isn't it? Good exercise. Hopefully it worked off that chocolate that I had before I came out. Oh, there's still a person here. I think it's the same people. They've been here a fair while. I wonder whether they made out. So yeah, that's the end bit of the walk. And we're just moving up, we've got garbage bins. We've got people that I won't get on camera. Um, hello town. 
and yeah the panorama below so this is basically just telling you what we just looked at or what I've shown you on the way here And some more graffiti I would imagine that's been covered up by spraying more white spray paint. So that's the Beacon Hill Lookout and you can check my other videos if you want to see some more. So I'm just heading home and I'm feeling a little bit awesome because I just told some people about some of the amazing things that they can see around Norseman. So hopefully they'll do that tomorrow. So. We'll see. Like I told them all about Cherry Island and the Salt Lakes and told them to check out my videos and that might give them some more ideas. So, yay me. So now I will proceed to walk down the hill. This is, this is where we're going. We're going home, people. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye.